During my mentorship course, I get an opportunity to speak to people who want to start with SAP BTP. And many times I feel as if they find it very difficult to understand SAP BTP. When I try to understand why they're finding it difficult to understand, um, there are many times people have repeated this, that it's very vast. There are so many services, where to focus, where to start actually. There are uh, many answers that come in as um, there are different um, terms uh, like Neo, Cloud Foundry, Multi-Cloud, ABAP Cloud, Kima. There's so many terms. And when they refer to blogs or when they refer to any online resources, um, sometimes they get confused because uh, the brandings used may not be relevant now, but it may have been relevant when it was written because it's changing continuously. There are many times when people um, discuss their backgrounds. Say, for example, a traditional ABAP developer tries to understand where they should actually go to. So many of them say um, that they want to um, go into ABAP cloud although there, there is a little bit of difference. Um, the way they used to um, develop things on SAP GUI, probably. will focus on all these small things which make a big impact. So I am trying to simplify SAP BTP for you in this series, which is called SAP BTP Simplified. And we are going to start it with a history. We're going back in time to understand how this platform has kind of evolved over Hi everyone, this is Modish Tech. You're watching SAP Business Technology Platform Simplified and I am Vikash. Today in this video, we are going back in time to understand today and with each milestone year and different components we will see how sap btp evolved over time going back in time i think the first key milestone was the launch of hana this is 2010 when sap introduced the in-memory computing database called sap hana at the time when hana was launched or at least it was announced that sap is coming with the in-memory processing um, database, it was looked at as a complete fantasy because at that time, all the enterprise grade applications were using the relational databases, RDBMS we say. But um, the announcement of HANA was a big, a very big step, I would say, because it was kind of a disruption in the market. 
Look at Hana now. If uh, people were thinking that it's a complete fantasy, it is now capable of doing many different
and there was another rebrand. The term HANA was dropped from SAP HANA Cloud Platform, which means the new brand is SAP Cloud Platform, SCP as we know. Uh, you will uh, be able to figure out what is right and what is not. It may not be relevant.